Episode 1, The Mosaic and Lockdown To my children, here I will document what's going on right now during this time. I hope you find it interesting. I love you, Mom. Hey, I'm Beth. I'm an artist and art teacher in Southern California. Recently, I became a mama to this little cutie, Ava. And our family is complete with my wonderful husband and papa, Martin. I will show the process of how my art is made on and off the canvas, where my muse is the life and love we share together in our little family. Welcome to Portrait of an Artist Mom. To my children, at the moment we have been on lockdown for several weeks, yet it's been hard to keep track of the days to be honest. Your dad and I call each day Blur's Day because it has all felt like one long day. The whole thing started after the new year. China had discovered an outbreak, and my dad, your grandpa, was worried about it. He had started to send us masks and other gear way before we all thought about the real possibility of it even being here. Personally, I was naive and couldn't believe it would actually become a threat, nor did many people really. Then the news hit that Italy had a huge outbreak as well. It was devastating to their country. Then came a travel ban from China and Europe to the United States. In a way, I still did not think that we would be affected. But then my coworkers and I got called into faculty meetings immediately following the news of Italy. We were told to start planning a few online lessons in the unlikely event that we would have to close. That Wednesday, March 11th, 2020, we closed. At the time, we didn't think it would last longer than a couple of weeks. Now I am here and I get to spend my days watching the amazing things you do while trying to figure out what this new life is for us. I'm still teaching art, but this time I have to figure out how to teach with you or how to get you to fit into a schedule where I can still teach. It's a little tricky at times, but I'm just grateful that we're all together right now. How I escape from reality for a bit. Number one, walking tours and vlogs. I had no idea there were walking tours and vlogs until lockdown. Now it's a way for us to escape for a little bit and I feel like we're on vacation. Your papa and I spent our anniversary this year watching a walking tour on the Amalfi Coast while we sipped wine and ate prosciutto cheese and crackers. Number two, family walks. Walking the neighborhood is one of our only forms of entertainment right now. Ava, sometimes you like it and other times you don't. A rose that your dad picked for me on one of our long walks. Number three, family naps. We don't get any sleeping done in the first 20 minutes of laying down for a nap because Ava, you like to jump around the bed and get out your last bit of energy. But when we finally do sleep, it's some of the most restful sleep I've ever had in my life. Number four, gardening. I love the garden. Before you were born, Papa and I lived in a studio apartment for seven years so we could save money. We loved it, but one thing we didn't have is a backyard. We got so lucky with this place when we did, because now I have the honor of spending time watching and nurturing things grow. Number five, cooking. Yes, I can cook now. It was almost like a light switch from all of my cooking being really awful to all of a sudden everything starting to taste good. I'm not saying that all of my dishes have worked out well, but I would say about 75% of the dishes are pretty tasty. We'll have to ask Papa for his opinion on that though. Number six, art. Right now I'm creating a mosaic out of broken plates that I kept for this specific reason. The reason being, hey, maybe one day I'll have time to turn these plates into a mosaic. You know, one of those things that you do when you don't really want to throw anything away because maybe, just maybe, you have a creative project. Our teachers have this problem all the time, which is one of the reasons why we tend to have a hoarding tendency. Please don't hate me for this, Ava. I swear I'm working on it daily, especially now when there really is no reason for me to put these weird projects aside. I have to admit though, I really have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Yet, sometimes there is no greater way to learn a skill than to try and mess the whole thing up. Either way, there is something so satisfying and stress relieving about breaking plates into tiny pieces. Yet, one thing I absentmindedly didn't think about was how breaking plates during nap time was probably not the smartest decision. So now you're just going to join me on this project. 
Not being able to go to the hardware store at the moment, I ordered some boat resin, not realizing what the color is or would be when it dried. So it's kind of like this brown color and maybe it can be cool. Yeah, this is probably where a little bit of research would have helped. I'm committed though. Your papa was kind enough to get me more when he was on his way home from work. In the end, I really ended up hating how this turned out. In fact, after it dried, I tried to knock the whole thing over and see if it would break into a more beautiful version of the project, but now it just has a whole bunch of cracks in it. <laughs> so I am putting it in the corner of the garden where it can hang out and I can stare at it and wonder, what did I do? But I have to say, it was a very therapeutic project for what we're going through at the time. In the next episode, I secretly steal part of a collapsed tree before it gets shredded by the city. And Ava gets pretty good at making new sounds, and also figures out how to grab with her pincher fingers. If you like these videos, please subscribe, like, and support us on our Patreon page, Portrait of an Artist Mom. Welcome to the family.